Taylor with Experience Highland Village. Residents recently completed a resident satisfaction survey and we learned that our residents are passionate about parks and recreation. With us today is Phil Lozano, the director of our Parks and Recreations Department. Welcome, Phil. Thank you. How are you doing today? Doing great. We're in a beautiful uh, location. I know. It's a perfect weather, too. This community absolutely loves its parks and trails and the recreation programming that we have to offer extremely active. And we are so grateful that we're able to meet those benchmarks for the community and, uh, and for them just to have an awesome recreational experience, not only the folks that live here, but also patrons that come and visit. What do you think the top concerns and things that they love about the parks and trails? The fact that the trails are connected to just about every park and business area throughout the city. Phil, there's a reforestation project going on along Briar Hill. Tell us a bit more about that. We had a bunch of Bradford pears along Briar Hill there at Unity Park, and those trees are very susceptible to, you know, extreme changes in the temperature, and then we're going to reforest that area. It's going to be 12 trees, and we're going to be planting um, cedar elms and chinkapin oaks. Well, one of the things that the residents maybe weren't quite as excited about was the removal of some basketball courts along Victoria Park. Yes, Victoria Park is a long and encore easement and we have an agreement with them. And we found out, I want to say about three to four years ago, that they don't allow basketball courts there. But we're actually going to build something that is substantially bigger and much better at Unity Park. It's going to have approximately four basketball goals and it's going to be a half court. So it's gonna provide a much better experience than what was at Victoria Park, and we're excited about that project. What's the timeline for Unity Park? Uh, the basketball course will happen in fiscal year 2025. We're working on the plans right now. Okay, well, we'll have to go out there and play some hoops. Uh, that sounds good with me. Highland Village is a great place for young and old, and our teens particularly love it here. What do you have in store for our teens, Bill? We are actually trying to put a focus group together and what we want them to do is we want them to be engaged in a part of developing what that event looks like for them or what programming looks like for them and provide an experience that's going to get them from a virtual platform and to a platform that is in a park. And that's where we need their help. We need to understand how that movement can happen and we'll energize it and charge them and want them to come to a program like this. So they're going to be the tip of the spear on, on helping us make that decision. And we're excited about that as well. I think it's great that you're listening for what teens would really want in Highland Village. Where can people learn more about the Parks and Recreation Department and the amenities that are available here? Uh, straight off our website. That would be a good place. Our, you know, hey, if you're ever by the Robert and Lee Duvall Center, just stop in and see if I'm in. I'd love to sit down and, and talk and brag about our park system here in Highland Village. Well, and Highland Village Parks and Recreation is certainly something to brag about here in Highland Village. I'm Taylor with Experience Highland Village, and we invite you to come check out our parks and trails.